All right, so it's been years since I actually built a new amp. Um, this amp here, I actually started building in 2019, I think. And I kind of gave up on it, you know, during the um, great unpleasantness of 2020. And haven't really gotten back to it until recently. Um, now that I'm in a couple of different bands again, um, I need more than just... Well, I mean, I have plenty of amps, but I really only <laughs> play my Marshall JSM-800 or the 112 combo version of that um, that you may have seen the video a long time ago. So this amp is supposed to be more or less a clone of my 800, it's the 50 watt 2204 model. Um, so this is a clone of that built using a lot of spare parts and... Uh, here check it out oh oh okay uh so yeah this is what it looks like this originally put all these holes this originally was a marshall jcm 2000 uh tsl triple super lead 60 watt head um that was you know blown up boards were ruined and i acquired it um so originally the plan was to to do um like a two channel like with an 800 channel and then with like a super high gain channel based on my circuit that i call the british thunder which is kind of a, a very martially amp but inspired also by the whole um soldano and Mesa Boogie and uh, 5150 lineage um, with a little bit of angle in there too. That, you know, it would have been cool, but doing the, all the channel switching, it just ended up being a pain and I kind of want something sooner than later. So I kind of ripped all that stuff back out, but I, I'm left with this crazy mess. And uh, so, it you know, I have it working, but... I'm not 100% happy with how it sounds. I'm not sure exactly what is the problem. I think it might be this output transformer that is, you know, came with came with the, the chassis. Um, it just is not nearly as beefy as what's in that Marshall, uh, which is a Drake transformer. And I was told that when I got the amp 20 years ago that it was actually replaced and possibly is a 100 watt transformer even though it's a 50 watt amp but anyway that amp seems to have more bass and uh it's almost like a little more scooped when you know when all the knobs are at five and all the knobs on this are at five although i do have this mid sweep that i added in here but put that around where it would be in that amp and you know um so they sound really close but I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this yet. I don't know. I think it's the transformer because the circuits are almost identical. And I'm using the Sozo capacitors, the older ones, the same ones that I put in that amp. Um, that capacitor is like the same brand as the ones I have in the other amp. So there's a lot of similarities. Obviously, it's a completely, you know, different wild mess of some point to point some eyelet board here and um yeah maybe i should like take the entire thing apart and redo it you know actually clean but i'm just playing around seeing what i can make happen with this um you know for no more money putting into it but uh so i did this demo here and you're gonna hear both amps uh, I have them both hooked up to the tone bone that just switches each head through these, through the speaker here. Um, this is a 412. I only have two 12s in it. The speaker down here is some random 70s speaker. I don't know what it is, but it sounds pretty good. This here is my favorite scumbag. Um, what is it? The M55 PVC, 55 hertz. And so I have both the 57 and the 609 
miking this and those are blended together along with this uh, cell phone, iPhone audio. So that's what you'll be hearing is a blend of that. And um, I don't know, It's it sounds good. It's not, you know, it sounds like that amp, but it doesn't, <sighs> I'm not taking it on stage yet. It's just, it just doesn't have the oomph and it's missing some, uh, some dynamic clarity or something going on there. I don't know. Have a listen. Let me know what you think. Thanks. <laughs>